Hey guys, it's Jandal here. Today we're going to take a look at a very lightweight titanium pot. It's actually the lightest pot on the market that will comfortably boil two, uh, two cups of water. It's the Tokes Light 650 Titanium Pot. It comes in a fairly nondescript looking cardboard box for those people who are interested in unboxings. Nothing much to see here. Now I bought this pot from China on AliExpress for $39 and it took about three and a half weeks to ship to Australia. First of all the dimensions, it's 95 millimeters wide, 95 millimeters high. It is meant to hold 650 milliliters of water. I've measured the uh, capacity and it was about 650, maybe just a touch more. But in practice, when you're boiling water, it's going to overflow if you fill it right up to the brim. So really, you want to have about half a litre or two cups of water in here. The company says that the body weighs 60 grams. Now, I weighed it on my digital scales and it was exactly 60 grams for the body. The lid... The company says that the lid weighs 20 grams. I measured my lid at 16 grams, which is lighter, obviously. And that means that the total weight of this pot with the lid is 76 grams. The pot did come with a little stuff sack, which weighs 12.8 grams. So if you're going to combine all of these items together, you're looking at a total weight of 88 grams. So let's look at some features of this pot. Well, first of all, the titanium is very thin. I believe it is uh, 0.2 or 0.3 millimeters thick. And this is a little bit thinner than the normal titanium that is used to make a pot. That's why it's so light. Of course, there's a trade-off there because it's probably not quite as sturdy as most titanium pots. As you can see there's a little bit of flex there. I think it's strong enough but if if you fall over and land on this when it's in your backpack you could crush it. So that's something to bear in mind. Let's take a look at the lid. Now with a lot of titanium pots when you're boiling it you go to pick up this tab you burn your fingers on the lid. This tab has a good feature which is you can slide it to one side and it will stay upright. So you can just grab it like that. That's a good feature. It also has three holes for venting. These holes, I'm sure they do their job. If they were closer to the rim you could possibly use it for draining but you couldn't use it with those holes there. The lid fits nicely. It does not click into place however. Not that that's important, but some people seem to like that. Let's take a look at the body of the pot. It has a little ridge here for um, helping the pot to stay secure on some pot supports. Obviously the support would have to be inside that little groove there. The handles are folding handles. They do not lock in place but I would say they semi-lock in place because they don't really flop around, they just sit there nicely. The handles have this little bend in them. I, I think that's a good feature because when you hold onto the pot, your third finger rests against there and helps to keep the pot away from your fingers so that you don't get burned. I like that kind of handle design. Another really good feature of this stove is the dimensions are perfect for holding a small canister. This is a standard small gas canister. As you can see it, fits, see, it fits in there nicely. Not only that, but I can also fit in a small burner. This is a BRS 3000T. It's the smallest and lightest burner on the market. And as you can see, no problems fitting that in there. This pot does not have any markings on it. 
Some people like to have markings for how much water is in the pot. Personally, that does not bother me, but it does seem to bother some people. Now there is one other possible disadvantage. That is the fact that pots that are made of titanium and pots that are narrow, like this one, are said to be not very efficient for boiling water because the flames come up the side of the pot and titanium does not conduct heat very well. Now I have another pot. This is actually my normal camping pot. It is a 700 milliliter, very similar capacity to that one, pot. It is made of aluminium as opposed to titanium and it is a wide pot. This is 5 inches or 125 millimeters compared with a narrow pot 95 millimeters less than 4 inches. I'm going to do a boil test for both of these pots and see if there actually is a real difference in efficiency. We've got a capillary hoop stove with 20 grams of alcohol, methylated spirits. We've got our titanium pot with half a litre of half a litre of water inside. I'm going to boil this water to a rolling boil, find out how long it takes, and then I'm going to weigh the remaining fuel to find out how much fuel got used. Five minutes is up. We've got a boil, but it's not a rolling boil. Let's leave it for a little bit longer. Okay, I'm calling that a boil at five minutes 30. These handles are not hot at all. I'm having no problem picking this up. The performance test is finished and there was a difference between the boil times and the efficiencies of these two pots. The wide aluminium pot was more efficient. It used 13.9 grams of alcohol and took 5 minutes and 15 seconds. The titanium pot used 14.6 grams of alcohol and took 5 and a half minutes. So it was 15 seconds slower and it used 0.7 grams more alcohol. I think that's not a big deal to be honest. Less than a gram per boil of alcohol that's being saved. And on the other hand this weighs half as much as this. It would take a lot of boils before the improved efficiency of this type of pot made up for its much greater weight. So at this stage I have to say I'm very happy with this pot and it will be overtaking my aluminium pot as my main solo backpacking pot.